welcome back yet again, folks, to another episode of The Legend of Heroes Trails Into Reverie. Uh, in the last episode, we started Reen's Route. Uh, we didn't do too much. Met the parents, you know, met the rest of the cast again. Here's the first thing we're going to do, because I looked into this on my own while I was waiting for OBS to update. I can give Reen his attire from the fourth game. Spoiler if y'all didn't play the fourth game, but we're going to do this for uh, everybody because I like all their travel wear. Also, better than the school uniforms. It's just a little more personal. Except now she has her boots in the water, so that kind of breaks it. I wonder, does that stay? No, it just breaks it. Well, I think we're still going to do the travel work, so it looks better. So, I forgot to bring up the guide. Silly old me. We need to know what we're doing, and when we're doing it, so that we don't miss the little things. Sorry, uh-oh. Oh, yeah, there's stones. So, so leave that. Do that first. Go ahead and talk to Kurt. He's over at the south. Car station thing? South. It's this way. Go ahead and talk to Kurt. Oh, I like these uniforms so much better. The scenery here truly is spectacular. It sure is. I've lived here most of my life, and I'm still not tired of it. It's just a shame it doesn't last all year. Once the snow's gone, that's it. But the bullet is green. Still, I'm sure it's just replaced by the equally unique beauty of another season. You're not wrong there. You're more than welcome to visit again in another season if you want to see. I'd very much like that. Uh, do you once... Uh, did you once practice your swordmanship here? Sort of. It was further up the mountain to be specific. Faster Kai Okafe, and I spent about a month living out in the wilderness while he trained me intensively. Interesting. I've heard the Arsade School does a similar thing. Perhaps it's an Eastern manner of training that the Arsade's leader adapted, adopted? My bad. Hmm. I'm sure that Eastern martial arts emphasize becoming one with nature, but I think in my case it was just because Master Kafe believed it to be effective. Sir, uh, Ugh. Securing food to eat and a place to sleep every day was hard enough, but sometimes we would even set uh, he would even set monsters on me. Why can I not read the first things here? Thinking back, I had to do some crazy stuff to make it through in one piece. And you're a glutton for punishment. I should have think of what you must have gone through. I kind of do too. Ouch! Is that how you see me? Forgive me. I didn't mean for it to come across quite so rudely. He is a glutton for fucking punishment, though. He's not wrong. Still, perhaps I should try training in the mountains myself. I apologize if I'm assuming wrongly here, but are you feeling frustrated with your progress? Oh, no, I'm not. No, I suppose you're right. Happy to lend an ear if that's something you want to talk about. All right, then. This isn't a new concern of mine, but it's something I was reminded of when we were introducing ourselves to your parents. Yuna and Altina have grown significantly since I first met them. And not just them. The same could be said for Ash, Muse, and the rest of the students at the Academy. They've all matured significantly in the year since we all enrolled. But then there's me. I don't feel like I've grown all that much at all. I get... Ugh. I continue to train every day, and I do feel as though I'm improving. I'm just a little frustrated by the pace. I think you only feel that way because you're more capable than most. Are you just saying he's the best in the class? Come on now. What do you mean? In other words, you expect more of yourself than most people do. When you put your bar for success so high, it's only natural it's going to be harder to surpass it. That's just reality. But that makes it sound as if I've got barely any room for improvement. That's definitely not the case. I'm going to... Oh, it's going to be more, more difficult for you to make significant progress than before, but you've been overcoming that for a while. Last year, you faced off against Prince Cedric and overcame many trials before that. But you weren't content to rest your laurels. In the six months since, you've never stopped working to better yourself. It's all spoilers for the previous games, but again, you best probably not be here if you don't want that shit. I just want to put that out there for a final time if I can. I think you're the only one who can't see how much progress you've made. As your instructor, I know better than anyone just how much you've improved. So, have confidence in yourself, Kurt. Thank you, instructor. Of course, don't take that as me telling you to be content with how you are and to stop trying. You gotta keep trying, bud. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. I have no intention of slowing my pace, at least not until I've surpassed you. Wow. That's stepping up big. 
Since I have a good reason to keep bettering myself, then. Well, I'm going to get going, but we have the Phoenix Wings to ourselves today. I'd recommend you take the chance to relax in the hot springs while you have it. That sounds wonderful. I might stay here a moment to collect my thoughts and then head over. Well. I can't say I blame you for doing either or, bud. I shouldn't have closed my phone. We gotta be able to read. So we did that. Now approach the southeastern exit to talk to Ash. Now go ahead and check out these no. other places. My god, there's lots to do. Lots to do. Going on, Ashy Washy. See, the outfits are much better. They just work better than the school uniforms. What are you up to over here, Ash? Nothing much, just wandering around. But man, there is a lot of snow left down this way. Well, we don't generally use this path, so there's no point in removing any of the snow that builds up here. It just stays until it, excuse me, until it melts. Guess it makes sense if you've got a cable car anyway. Something on your mind? Kinda. A while back I heard someone talking about a sport you can basically only do on a snowy mountain. Just can't remember the name, though. Snowboarding? Come on, dude. That's the one! Heard something about using a special board to ride all the way down to the bottom of the mountain. I figure there's gotta be enough snow here to do it, right? Though I'm thrilled that you're so interested in snowboarding. That would be a really bad idea. Why? You gotta tell me- Oh, Ash, most of the snow's already melted. You're gonna die a horrible death or something? Well, screw that. Life's no fun without a bit of risk. To be fair, you did hit most of what I was going to say, but yeah, there's no chance I'll let you snowboard in this. Lame. If you really want to give snowboarding a try, though, you're more than welcome to come back here in the winter. I'll even teach you myself. <laughs> I'd surpass you in no time flat. No doubt. I don't think we are a snowboarding crew here. Chief, I'd like to see you try... I'll have you know I'm at the top of the leaderboards for every course here. Man, when you get hooked on something, you really get hooked, dude. Huh? But don't forget, I'm from Ra Raquel. I grew up gambling to put food on the table. There ain't a game I can't win. I'm not afraid to embarrass you on your own turf. Good luck trying that, homie G. Well, that sounds like a challenge to me. Can't wait to see who comes out on top. Just remember that you're not allowed to bet anything on the outcome unless we do it after you graduate. Bah! You and your damn rules. We do seem to have a lot. There's Reen Schwarzer. Talk to Yuna for a scene. This will add page one to her character notes. This doesn't tell me where Yuna's at. I guess we'll just walk around and find her. Maybe. She's probably in a building or something. Yuna, 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 Yuna. Okay, no, not that. I'm gonna look at this. Okay, yeah, this just says talk to Yuna. Oh, it does tell me where to go. Plover, the place I was just looking at. There's just a bit to do in here. Good lord. So, we'll do Yuna first. Looking to grab a souvenir? Yeah, for my family. Oh, and for Jessica and Luis as well. This place sells all sorts of rare stuff. It kind of reminds me of Neo... Uh-oh. Neo Suan Imports. I hope I did that okay. Uh, they both carry Eastern goods. It's true. Since a lot of their stuff comes from the Republic, they were out of stock last year. But now things are finally back to normal. Thank goodness trade has recovered. Agreed. Well, what is it, Instructor? Nothing. I just thought you'd be more on edge today. You're surprisingly calm. I mean, today's the signing ceremony in Crossbell, yeah. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't thinking about it. There's a part of me that wants to be home for such a monumental occasion. But I'd kind of feel left out if I was the only one who didn't get to come to Ymir. I belong with Class 7. That's a grown-up right there. By the way, I heard something from Randy. He told me you played a big part in Operation Liberate Crossbell last month. Oh, um, hey, it wasn't that big a deal. I just helped Lloyd and the others a teeny bit. Hey, are you okay? Really okay with staying at the branch campus? It's the end of the school year, so you should have been able to transfer back to Crossbell like Randy. Heck, I bet they'd love to have you at the police academy again. So you want me gone, huh? No, that's not what... I'm just messing with you. 
It's true that I regret not being able to properly graduate from the police academy, and you have a chance once you graduate from us still, I think. But right now, my time at the branch campus is even more important. I said it earlier. It's where I belong. I see. And you know, I like being with you, Instructor. That's hitting on me, and you're underage for that, I think. I, I don't... Actually, what is their age at this point? Anyway, student teacher, don't do uh, it. Uh, I didn't mean that in a weird way. It came off in a weird way. <laughs> I know. It came off in a weird way. And there's still a lot I want to teach you, too. That came off in a weird way. Good, because I'm all ears. But this game's full of just doing the weird scenarios. Anyway, everything I learned at Thor's is sure to be useful in the future. Whether it's for myself or to be or to help strengthen the relationship between Crossbill and the Empire, I'm going to be counting on you to teach me the good stuff, Instructor. You have yourself a deal. I'll tell you how to kill anybody. Better get you that brain of yours ready. Okay. Talk to Camilla. I take it you're Camilla. Well, if it isn't Reen, welcome back. Long time to see Camilla. You look well. Well, uh, what's that? I look young at... And my complexion's perfect, you sweet talker. You really haven't changed. Ah, uh, come now. That's not true. I've been in... Uh oh I've been in the rare item business lately. Speaking of which, have you heard about this? It's Lake Lord's newest fishing gear. I ordered way too many sets. And then on top of that, they sent me new rods and parts as a bonus. Care to take them off my hands? I mean, you sure? I love fishing. Of course, I'm sure this stuff would be much better used in the hands of a knowledgeable fisherman like you. Because we're on titanium hook and fishing bait. Whoa, this is a lot. Thank you so much. No need for thanks. I just like seeing you happy. I'll be running the shop as usual, so feel free to drop in whenever. Will do. Fishing, huh? It's starting to warm up a little, so it's the perfect time to cast a line in the mountain stream. I should give it a whirl once I have some free time. God, I can't stop burping. So then, so we got that Tucker second time for a funny scene. By the way, Rain, do you have a moment? What is it, Camilla? That girl looking at her stock over there is pretty cute. Is she your girlfriend? Student. Cannot do. She's one of my students, actually. Ah, from your school. Hmm. You certainly seem quite close. I figured you'd brought your girlfriend home with you. Well, we've been through hell and back together, so... I wonder who you'll bring home next. Someone from your class? Or perhaps Princess Elfin? Camilla? I doubt we're gonna bring her back. So we want to buy both books? Purchase, yeah, chapters 3 and 4. And do we want to... It just makes fishing easier. Uh, you know what? I'll do it. We'll do it just to make the fishing easier. Now talk to Leo and you'll receive an arc to upgrade to increase uh, the slot unlock. He'll also give you a tier and bath. Lord Reen, you're home, eh? How are things at the school? Really busy as we prepare for the new school year, but super fulfilling. How are things going here, Leo? Uh, same old, same old. You see how my wife is, right? Are you going to be sticking around for long? I'll handle you all your ornament modification and weapon upgrade needs. In this place? You got all that equipment? Kudos, bro. Thanks a lot. Oh, before I forget, have you heard that the Arcus 2 got an update? Yeah, the Rhine for a group got in touch with us. I hear the slots got a boost. Correct, you can strengthen up to a third stage now, allowing for the insertion of even more powerful quartz. I actually got a sample from the RF group. It's yours if you want to see how it works. After strengthening the slot with this beeth, it's gonna be speeth. No, sepeth. Sepeth, my god. You should be able to plug the quartz in. To you are, and that. Let's go. Thank you for everything. No need for thanks. I'm just happy to see you again. Since you're all home and all, make sure to get some RNR. Of course. Of course. Uh, so maybe we should. Uh, oh, da, 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 modify the ornament, not a quartz, do a slot. Who has tier, probably? Maybe let's check who even has the tier quartz right now. Teria, Teria. Teria, because nobody has tier. So, probably be good to have have you with it. Everyone has restore, which is good. Speed plus four is a must. We need my speed, demon. Everyone else is... Y'all are pretty slow, bro. Um... 
Mm. Crit rate plus 2%. Crit rate plus 1%. Accuracy up. Uh, strength 15. But my attacks and crafts can cause speed down. Earth pulse we will probably get rid of. Okay. So we'll do the slot here. And I will change this out for tier you are. Puts up our health quite a bit, plus, you know, cures burn, heals. Seems like a good thing to me. Not a bad start for Quartz at all. Not bad at all. So upgrade your equipment. Uh, da, da, da. You will get 50 times U material if you transfer over Cold Steel 3 data, but ugh. Because I could upgrade all my weapons here. But I don't have any U material because... That's fine, that's fine. We can just do that later. Purchase a sash, though. And it says to specifically put it on Kurt. I do know why. He is the evasion king. It's actually nuts. I think that's all we need to do in here. Uh, Valley's Echo. Valley's Echo. Sorry, I just have to respond to the text. Right, once you visit everything, approach that. This is the Phoenix Wings. Okay, so that's later on. We'll just do what we gotta do here. Well, well, look who's back. Glad to see you're doing well, Reen. Haha, <laughs> likewise, you're in as good a mood as ever, Gerald. Uh, and I can see why you've got quite a few customers for this time of year. Yeah, right after the war ended, hardly anyone was coming in. Looks like things are finally getting back to normal. Since tensions between the neighboring nations have calmed down a bit, we're getting even more guests than usual. Nothing beats times of peace. You've got that right. Now then, since you're here and all, how about I teach you one of our recipes? You mean, one of your secret dishes? Are you sure about this, Gerald? Of course! You can use all recipe books too, right? Oh, you all use, sorry. If you jot down one of my specials, you'll be able to prepare it whenever you want. Here, help yourself a recipe for one of my specials and the ingredients to whip it up. Uh, the ingredients as well? Really, this is much too kind. I don't get to see you as often as I'd like, so let me at least do this much. I know you're keeping plenty busy out there, but take care of yourself and make sure you're eating right. Of course, I'll take that to heart. I've gotten so used to spring everywhere else that the cold here has got me feeling like it's still winter. Woo! Think I might take that advice I gave to Kurt and soak in the hot spring. The radiant, the phoenix wings. Um, this just said to receive it. Does that mean it's in my recipe book? It is. Do we, is the recipes really different? And the fish really different? You gotta do everything with fucking. Oh, buddy, this is gonna be a time. Second home. Deep concern. Acting. Oh, acing it. Okay, 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 okay. We're doing good, we're doing good, so... Uh, we're almost actually done with the side stuff here to start with. So, maybe we'll just try to finish that up, and in the next episode we'll get into the big stuff. Can't save while auto-saving. And we're gonna start saving back here now. We don't need to use every save file. Uh, where did this say to go? Ah, uh, yes. That way. The Phoenix Wings. Stop exploring the village and take a dip in the hot springs. Just one last double check, y'all. We are making sure we do this. So we got that. We got the Altina Muse character notes. We got the two books. I think that's the only missables possible. Plus, we got the fishing gear that it told us to grab. We got the sash that it told us to purchase. We're set. 
We are set. Looks like someone got here before me. Maybe it's Kurt. That do not be Kurt. That is wrong hair and wrong gender. Major? Bright color of hair. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have come in if I'd known you were here. Is that you, Reen? Why don't you come into the water? You must be cold standing there. We haven't had a chance to talk in quite some time. It would be a little chilly. True. We're long overdue for a talk. Well, if you're comfortable with it, then I'd love to. She invited you. Of course she'd be comfortable with it if she invited you. Dad mentioned how the RMP must be really busy now. How are you holding up? You aren't overworking yourself, are you? Thank you for your concern, but please put that worry out of your mind. My work sometimes comes with unexpected benefits, like being able to visit the hot springs here, for instance. I suppose that is true. The RMP is being restructured and having its military capacity downsized at the same time. So I can't deny that I am busy, but that's true for so many others right now. I don't think I have a right to complain. What do you mean by being restructured? Does this relate to how the RMP and the Intelligence Division don't answer directly to the government anymore? Yes, because of that we aren't going to have the kind of freedom we used to, but I believe that we'll still be able to protect the people of Erebonia in a different way than the army, like before. Hopefully. I see. The RMP isn't being rolled into the army though, right? Correct, although that possibility was being considered at one point. In the end, it didn't happen, thanks in part to General Van Dyke and the Provisional Governor Head Regnitz. It's not impossible that it could lead to a power struggle in the future, unfortunately, but I believe the Empire needs something with a chain of command separate from the army that can serve as a deterrent. Jesus. We're really getting into the structure of the government in Erebonia ever since the war ended. It's kind of getting a little nuts. To avoid power gathering in one place again, you mean? Exactly. Thors and his graduates, myself included, are expected to serve as another kind of deterrent as well. The reason being that the school's students and teachers alike exert influence in various fields and have all kinds of connections. I see. As someone charged with helping raise the next generation of Thor's students, I suddenly feel even more pressure. As you should. We're all counting on you. To a degree, I bet. By the way, Reen. Uh, yes? This feels very overdue, but I wanted to thank you. For? For what? For all you did during the rivalries. For all you did for Milliam, for facing me head on, and for granting His Excellency's true wish. <laughs> Mere words feel woefully insufficient given all you've done, but I also didn't want my gratitude to go unspoken. That's very kind, but you really didn't have to. I was just doing what I wanted to do, and I couldn't have done it alone. That's about what I expected you'd say. This might sound kind of sappy, kind of sappy. but I feel like it was worth it all just to see you smile again. Buddy, 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 buddy. You really are oblivious to how you sound sometimes. Jokes and thanks aside, there's something I wanted to ask you, too. What is it? Are you truly happy right now, Reen? Huh? Of course I am. Busy, certainly. But I am happy. Yeah, you don't sound it, dude. I still can't believe we made it through the Great Twilight. We even got Crow and Milliam back. I was hoping there was a way we wouldn't lose them, obviously. But deep down, I had already given up and braced for the inevitable. It wasn't without some goodbyes. But it's all over now. And I can still be with everyone I care about. Which includes you, of course. The joy I feel about that hasn't gone anywhere. I'm glad to hear that. Still, there's a difference between being happy over something and you yourself being happy. You went through a lot during the Great Twilight, including having to say farewell to your father. Despite living in fear you would disappear or lose your friends, you came out the other side with victory in hand. You, Reen, persevered to save us all. And I can believe that's made you happy, yes. As much as I can believe that happiness continues to cast a punishing shadow over you. Am I wrong? Uh, I'm speechless. Punishing shadow? You really can see right through me. You're right. I'm still not sure how to handle the happiness I feel. 
I know it's there. I'm just not sure how to truly accept it. All the people who died on the first day of the war did so because I made the Great Twilight happen. Do I even deserve to be happy when they can't be? Or forgiven for what I did? It may not be my place to say this. That's what she means. But I think you're the only one who can decide that. <sighs> I suppose you're right. I know how you feel. Because I'm in exactly the same position. You were concerned earlier that I might be overworking myself. For me, I'm just trying to atone for my sins by throwing myself into my work. Major, that can't be good for- Don't worry. I can calculate how far I can go as well as any number. I'm taking care not to cross the line into self-sacrifice. It's tempting though. Every time I achieve something to make Erebonia's future better or see you and Milliam's smiling faces, I get a little closer to forgiving myself. It's not something I can do overnight. It's every moment I can justify forgiveness, no matter how small it is that gets me one step closer. As long as I don't falter, I'm sure I'll be able to like myself again one day. Hmm. That's a mature way of going about it. <laughs> Far from it. I'm duplicitous to a fault. I wonder if I... I don't think my approach will work for you. You're much too sincere to go tricking yourself into feeling anything other than how you feel. Oh, and that's the truth. I know it won't be easy for you. Just... I hope you can let yourself be happy. <laughs> Easier said than done, I'm afraid. Maybe. But if you let it elude you forever, I'll always be one good deed short of being able to fully forgive myself. That's dirty. What am I even supposed to say to that? I did call myself duplicitous. At any rate, you'll catch colds just standing around like that, you know. Why don't the three of you come and join us in the water? Caught him! I suspected we wouldn't be able to evade your notice. For what it's worth, I did feel kind of guilty listening in. Uh, we didn't hear any of your conversation, though. Please don't worry on that count. It's on me for not watching what I said in a public place. Instructor Claire really is amazing. All I end up doing is letting our instructor listen to my problems. I couldn't possibly help with his. You okay, Yuna? I suspect she's thinking about how she would like to wash your back. Much like I once did. As if I was thinking such a- Wait, you did what now? How untoward. Yeah, untoward of you both. Listen, um, you aren't going to deny the allegations, I see. Listen, there was a very good reason for what happened. It wasn't allegations, she kind of just straight up said she did it. After Rain was taken to task for his past transgressions, Kurt and Ash came to join everyone in the spring. The group then enjoyed a relaxing time together, letting the soothing waters melt their stresses away, if only for a moment. And normally it is only for a goddamn moment in these games. Oh, that felt amazing. I'm jealous. You've had a place like this so close by all your life, Instructor. Yeah, I get why he's so addicted to the hot springs now. I knew you'd all come to understand in time. Just in time. Well, if everyone's sufficiently rested, I think it's about time we departed. Are you all ready? You mean, here it comes. I take it you're finally going to enlighten us on why we were summoned here. We're going into the valley, I assume. Correct, please follow me. You will have all your answers soon enough. Party menu. So now that's when we can change our shit. Equip quartz menus. Team select for here, you can change your team and automatically equip weapons, armor, and quartz. Automatically. You can also change your team in battle by pressing that. I do know that. Oh. Oh, that's just a quicker way of doing it. Okay, okay. I get you. But for today's episode, this is where we're going to end it because we're going to prepare to go into the valley in the next episode and all that fun jazz, so please comment, subscribe, tell me what you thought of the episode, what you think of the series, what you think of the game, and I'll see you all next time, guys. Bye-bye for now.